fair season. It is not even close to being over yet. Yeah, we have the Freiburg Fair next week. The Cumberland Fair has plenty of events today through Sunday. We have named him our fair correspondent, or he's named himself that. Sam Rogers is at the fairgrounds for us this morning and joining us with what's going on. Hey, Sam. Yeah, Sharon and Lee, an important note, self-proclaimed New Center Main Fair correspondent. Anyway, I am joined with the Cumberland Fair president, Ted Guggins. Ted, of course, we got some rain with us, but that's not going to slow down the events uh, today, right? No, no. Everything, uh, we have 4-H events that still go on in the show arena. We have a beef show here. Uh, we have apple pie contest in the uh, exhibition hall. We have uh, steer and ox obstacle courses down in the show ring. Uh, this pulling all day long and later on in the day we'll have the rodeo rain or shine they have to go on and so 30 minutes ago we were joined by some members of the dairy club the 4-h club here what is it like for you to see the youth the next generation getting involved at the fair uh, i grew up not lot far from here and i was involved i had steers here mm -hmm. and uh, it's just the the learning skills of these kids you know to put the extra work in the life skills that they get out of it uh, it's just great and to see these young kids it's uh you know it's part of the future for farming and you know, if, whether they go on to farming or not, it's, it, it teaches them lots of great skills and it's nice to see them here. And to that point, you know, passing these lessons down to the next generation, getting them more involved, why is that so important for, for the state of agriculture, you know, at fairs around the state and, you know, at local farms? I think it's an opportunity for people to come to the fair and see w what goes on and how the work, that the education that they get out of it as far as what it takes to raise animals, what the process of vegetables and, and all that. I think it's very important to keep going. And Ted, since 1869, people have been coming here for this annual community tradition. What is the legacy of this fair? It's, um, I think it's just part of the community. It's, uh, they used to race the horses down Main Street yeah. in Cumberland. And, it, and uh, it's just, uh, I think it's a great legacy that this needs to go on and people want to see, it. people that are involved with fair are very passionate about it. And it, it's just mm -hmm. a great, great thing. I don't know if Cumberland police would like if we race the horses down Main Street this year, but there is still plenty to check out. You can go to the Cumberland Fair website to find a full event schedule and also check the fair's Facebook page for any weather related updates. For now, we are live in Cumberland this morning. I'm Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.